I'm Wes, I'm a LEGO design master, and I designed the new LEGO modular building. So the new LEGO modular building is an apartment next to a nice little cozy bookstore. We're actually having two buildings. Normally it's just one, but these can split apart so you can put them one way or the other. So if you were to buy more than one, you can actually duplicate the floors and stack up as high as you want. In the apartment, you'll find uh, an older couple living there, a nice cozy fireplace, a little bay window where they can sit and read, a table with two chairs and some tea, as well as a kitchen cabinet. Then when you go up the staircase, you'll find their master bedroom with a nice big double bed, and there's a nice dresser with a lamp. Then when we go over to the bookshop, you'll find down in the bottom, there's the reception area with the desk, with a little cash register, lots and lots of bookshelves. And in the window, you'll find a new book decoration titled Moby Brick, which is a classic example of Lego humor. And then when you go all the way to the top, you'll find the bookshop keeper's small apartment where she has a nice teal colored bed and a terrarium with the chameleon in it. We actually decided to make the chameleon the same color as the bed, so if he escapes, she might have difficulty finding him. You could look at the chameleon and go, well, that looks exactly like the chameleon from the minifigure series. That's on purpose, because I did not want to be created with a new pattern. It should be so that you have both chameleon. The first one is in lime green and this one is in teal. So then it feels like it's the same chameleon changing color. So I've been involved in designing the decorations, the printed elements. There's a book store sign above, very classic, very simple. Doesn't look like much, but there was a lot of type fonts that needed to be tried out, investigated. Then there was a new book cover. We wanted to tell, have a, have a reference to, to something people know with a little Lego humor twist. So this new modular set is part of the modular series, which is great for adult fans or older fans that would love to build something that's a little bit more time intensive, has a lot of parts and a lot of interesting building techniques. We have a few new color changes in the set. We have a wig that has only ever been in dark orange, which we now have in black. And then my personal favorite are the leaves that we've color changed to yellow and green to give it kind of an autumn setting, uh, which is really nice because the cool weather in autumn also allows us to give accessories to the minifigures like the scarf, which we have in a new green color, and as well as the hat. So you can really feel like what autumn is like on the street. So the address of the Blue Green building is 107, which some people might know is the, the number for the color that it is. This is actually pretty special to me because when I first arrived at LEGO, it didn't exist anymore. It's kind of an old color that we've brought back recently. From the first two years of me being at LEGO, I was campaigning to get it back and finally managed to talk to the right people and get it going and get it back again. So when I'm designing decorations or stickers for a model, I usually get a briefing in a design meeting and I immediately start sketching in my sketchbook. And it also allows room for a better dream process because the computer is an extension of me, not a part of me when I draw with the pen. And then we just barb ideas back and forth. Usually we have a pretty good picture after a short dialogue. So there's kind of a story going on with the set. This little boy is visiting his grandparents, playing outside with his toy plane, and he throws it, and then it gets stuck in the tree. And so his, his grandpa needs to come get his ladder out of the basement and, and set it up and help him get that out of the tree. There's also something going on with the bookshop keeper and this guy we're calling Flower Guy. Uh, he's brought flowers to give to her because he's got a little crush on her and he's always visiting the bookshop frequently. So the older couple is actually based on my parents. I was really inspired specifically for this modular building uh, by my mom because she loves designing doll houses or and real houses as well. So I was really trying to channel a lot of the things that I saw my mom doing as a kid. And my dad is always the guy in the neighborhood that's helping people out. So that's why we have the uh, ladder in the basement that he can actually pull out to help the little boy get the plane out of the tree. When this video comes out, I guess it'll be the first time my parents actually see this model, so it'll be fun to see what they think of the minifig versions of themselves. To me, a successful set is one that plays on some of your real-life references. You can relate to it like a character, and then you would want to dive into it, open it up, and have a, an adventure inside of it. And it should hopefully inspire you to take it apart completely and build something of your own. Voice's well, uh, attention to detail it's really unfolding once you start opening uh, doors and windows and roofs. I'm looking forward to dive into the final uh, piece. I think people are going to re respond well to this set. It's uh, cozy. In Danish we say hygge. Don't know the word? Look it up. It's, it's a great word. 
I never thought I'd get the opportunity to work on a modular building, and it'll be really cool to see it also in, in displays right next to all the other great modular buildings. I'm super happy with the outcome. I hope other people are as happy with it as I am.